This video for Suicide Awareness Week for the third day is about friends. I'm doing it uh, Tuesday the uh, at 8.07 p.m. so that I can do some editing to it or have a friend do some editing for it, on it so that tomorrow it might be a little more um, uh, draw people in possibly just to be able to hear it. Anyway, uh, I have a few verses that I'm going to read. I am wearing glasses. These are prescription and they're shaded, which kind of sucks. And it's getting dark out, so apologize, guys. But anyway, we'll go with this. Uh, so in Proverbs 18.24, it says, One who has unreliable friends soon comes to ruin, but there are, there is a friend who sticks closer than a brother. I have a few friends. I have a select group of friends who fall within that range, that they are closer than even my brother. It is not to say anything bad about my brother, but they know me very well. We have spent lots of time together and built very strong relationships. Proverbs 17, Proverbs 27, 17, it says, As iron sharpens iron, so one man sharpens another. And that is to say that in our faith as Christians, we hold each other accountable. Sometimes holding us accountable is to say that, hey, that's not a good thought to have, and you're worth far more than the destructive thoughts that you're thinking. And it's important for us to realize that. In Ecclesiastes 4, 9 through 10, it says, Two are better than one because they have a good return for their work. If one falls down, his friend, his friend can help him up. But pity the man who falls and has no one to help him up. And it's very sad to think that there are people out there who struggle with the, with the thought of suicide. They deal with depression or anxiety. And potentially self-harm. It's important to be there and to make those friendships and to make them strong because we, those of us who struggle with suicidal thoughts, fall often because of these thoughts. So it's very good for us to have friends like you. Um, my last one is John 15, 12 through 14. And it says, my command is this, Love each other as I have loved you. Greater love has no one than this, that he lay down his life for his friends. You are my friends if you do as I command. That was Jesus talking to his disciples. With that said, you know, no greater sacrifice than giving one's life for one's friend. One way that you can sacrifice is to to stay up with us all night or be willing to. I have had situations where people have stayed up with me, not all night, but for an extended period of time trying to help me and to encourage me to not make those poor choices and to hear me out with the struggles that I have. Because many times suicide is not just the thought, it's actually kind of a symptom to many thoughts and many struggles and many problems that we have. What I want you to know very much so is that this particular video excites me greatly. I hope that you hear in my voice a joy and a passion because you, friends, have the ability to reach into our lives so much more than even family. And part of the reason why that is is because we get to choose you. We get to have you as friends. And then we realize and we know that because you are still friends with us, that you choose us over ease of some other situation or some other friendship. We are validated through you because your friendship continues to grow with us. Um, it's kind of been stated, be a safe place. It's always what I'm going to encourage is be safe. Give us a safe place to share. Don't talk. Take it lightly. I had a friend who I talked to and we were having a good time before and we were in a group and we were laughing and it was great. And then afterwards he's like, hey man, how you doing? And in a pursuit of me trying to be absolutely honest, I told him I'm not doing very good at all. And he says, so what's going on? And I says, well, I'm struggling. And I have been struggling for like the past week about, you know, committing suicide. And the look on his face, he felt sad and I could see it. And so instead of him going home, you know, driving 45 minutes to go home, he spent the next hour and a half talking to me. It was late at night. And I remember at the end of the walk, he gave me one of the biggest hugs and he consoled me by saying, man, I couldn't imagine my life without you. 
to you that might be a really high stress situation but for us it's one of the greatest memories ever to be able to remember and say wow they cared for me enough to give up not only their time but their heart he is one of those people that if in a situation I feel overly drawn to that bad way of thinking that I can feel confident that I will call that I can call him and that he will not leave me hanging because of this when we come to you or if you find out by asking us questions we know we're broken you don't have to hedge how you interact with us because of this just because you know that we struggle with suicide doesn't mean that if you have you know kind of a darker sense of humor and we laugh together with that that you should hedge that that makes us feel awkward and that somehow we're different and we're broken goods not to say that you know hey we should joke about suicide even more and make it less valuable because to us it's very personal it's not something that's you know really lighthearted but we try to keep it lighthearted to keep laughing and to keep moving because a lot of times for us if we're not laughing we're crying and if we're crying we're probably thinking about bad things um, we know we're broken and we appreciate the love that you have for us by his loving us still and that's that love of Christ that other that new step of sacrifice um, part of the reason we have told you or you know is because we trust you so you don't have to hedge things keep our trust and don't tell don't tell everyone of our struggles um, it's personal and it's really easy for people to take it the wrong way and say well he's got a good life why would he be thinking that some people just don't understand we appreciate you who do um, yeah I, had, I actually had a friend who felt that he wanted to hedge our interactions because of me telling him this and I said don't I enjoy that that's a part of our relationship it's important to us and uh, because of that I believe he continues to have that strong antagonistic nature towards me and I love it we have that relationship and it's just it's a great bond he's another friend that I would trust giving a call when needed um, pray for us whenever you think of us and let us know it because we appreciate it to know that you pray for us is so valuable because we know that you are taking time out of your personal prayers to dedicate to us, for us, that you are petitioning God to give us extra strength. I don't mean to be overly emotional, but because this area, friends, friends were the reason I'm still here today. Through you guys, I have been able to deal with struggles. I've been able to face hardships and to think not of myself and not trapped up in here but to be able to give my heart to people and to be able to share this burden because that's what it is and so what I really I know that you know the past two have been kind of solemn in nature and this one I don't wish that to be the case I want it to be happy because my friends have stepped in and helped me they saved my life they gave me the opportunity to live and to give this video to other people so thank you so very much to my friends, to each of you who are watching, because most of you are my friends, and if you want to, please share this. Let it be passed along and let it spread like wildfire, because we need friends. Those of us who struggle with suicidal thoughts, self-harm, um, I'm sorry, brain fart, anxiety and depression, we need you. Thank you so much. God bless. and. I hope you have a great and blessed day, and please know that you, each of you, has been a blessing in my life.